Right on to Van Helsing. Oh, yes, Van Helsing. Boy, we didn't even get an introduction. Right. I was just like, ah, fucking Van Helsing. Uh, fucking Van Helsing, let's go. <laughs> I'm just going to start off. You could be haters, but I like Van Helsing. I like Van Helsing. Me too. Yeah, I think I'm the only one who didn't like the movie at all. <laughs> yeah, at all? Even, a- even AJ's like throwing shade now. I mean, I, mean, I liked uh, Faramir, the guy from Lord of the Rings. Yes. Oh, okay. Faramir's brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The monk. Fryer. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fryer. Like I said, the first time I watched this movie, I was probably seven. I think I watched it a million times between. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We watched it an awful lot. Every Age time it was on, we watched it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it in like closer to 12 years than not. At this point. Right. And this watch was a lot different than those younger years, for sure. Sure. Now, this is the same director as The Mummy. That became a big movie. This became a cult classic that, like, everybody's forgotten about. Mm -hmm. This movie was supposed to be a trilogy, easily. Mm -hmm. But it was supposed to have television programs and everything else. I remember them even speaking about it back then. Yeah. There's even a, at the beginning of this movie, you see Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Or, yeah. Really, it's, right. it's Mr. Hyde at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Robbie Coltrane actually plays him, you know? And it's fantastic. That's just a fantastic segment and take on Hyde. They even have a anime of Van Helsing. Van Helsing and Hyde together that goes with this movie. That's interesting. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I it's, it's like actually pretty good. More interested in that. Yeah. And it's actually this, pretty this well movie. done, you know? And I got into this movie when you first started watching it. They were supposed to make it a big thing because it had elements of James Bond in it. Well, the friar. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like some of the James wild Bond's, stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he invented a nuclear weapon guy. practically, yeah. you yeah. know? It was, it was pretty wild. I know what it's for now. That, that's you just know? what I feel like my issue yeah. is with the movie. Like, if you yeah. don't like Van Helsing... There isn't mm-hmm. a lot to like get you into it because like I was telling you, the mm-hmm. only like stakes of this movie is like this random family that mm-hmm. stops Dracula getting into heaven and like mm-hmm. who okay. cares really, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do like the character of Van Helsing. I do too. I, I almost feel Same. like he's more interesting when he's not this. You know, yeah, like he's more interesting as just like Dr. Van Helsing, who's seemingly just like a normal guy, (laughs) Mm -hmm. but there's like a you know, but I like the whole backstory of Rome and the Vatican being this whole underground network trying to get rid of evil on earth. And Mm -hmm. I wanted to see more of that, and that's what I think that going forward, I like the concept, I don't Mm -hmm. love it in execution in this movie. See, I yeah, well, there was a couple of production things in this movie. You look at the wives of Dracula, they were terrible. I mean, they were pretty to look at, and the, it was a great concept, but they were just the terrible actresses. The transformations and stuff in this movie are, like, good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for the time. It, it's so weird, because, like, yeah. uh, the, half of the CGI is mm-hmm. like, oh, that didn't age good at all. Yeah, right. And then, like, yeah. the other half, it's like, oh, this, like, actually is really seamless. Yeah. yeah. I, Some of it did look good. I like the fact that, like, to me, anyway, the Hyde... Yeah. Was basically the same hide that was in League of Extraordinary. That's Gentlemen. exactly yeah. right. Which I love that hide was, as well. Which was right. A terrible movie. Right, but I, but I, I, I was a with nice great connection concept. for me. Yes. Yeah, same with me. This go around. I knew that there was things that I thought were cool when I was younger, mm-hmm. and like a good amount of them are like, yeah, it's still pretty cool. But this watch, I was really like, ooh, the structure of this movie is like the script. It, yeah, it's is, a little all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. I like the fact that it brought in so many different, uh, lack of a better term, monsters of the movies that I loved yeah. when I was right. younger. It's I a was... good, even like in scenes at times, mm-hmm. it's like a good yeah. homage to Universal Monster stuff. Right, yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I thought the monster himself was a fantastic take on it. Frankenstein? Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. You mm-hmm. watched the video, and I watched the same video, but like mm-hmm. the opening, it's in black and white, but it's only like a year behind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, well, yeah. that's yeah. just supposed yeah. to be I know, it's just funny. Homage. But say, yeah. I have to say, that opening scene of the movie was fantastic to me. It evoked emotion in me like the opening of Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> It did. It was that powerful. <laughs> 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 just like, really? <laughs> why why do you say that? It's it's fucking just... Saving Private Ryan versus Van Helsing. The the opening <laughs> scene. It just. I just thought it was done fantastic. You, like... you can't say that because every week yeah. we've been sitting here going, "What do you like better, the Penguin yeah. or Agatha?" Yeah. Which is like two. I different... know, but like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know they're two different things. I'm just talking about. But emotionally, they emotion... get you going. It's just in the funny though direction. because like, you know? that, yeah. I know why you're bringing Save It Prying. Uh oh. It's because like I had it like open been on another screen a while ago no. and he just said that same thing to me where it's like oh, that opening scene it was just so crazy <laughs> it was because you just I know. get so drawn i agree to it. saving private ryan but mm-hmm. not van helsing because I, I, I you did didn't like, like the movie i did like the open 
to yeah. Van Helsing. I mm-hmm. thought it was good. It pretty powerful <laughs> opening scene that set the road for everything. The fact that it was one year later, I I agree. It was mm-hmm. kind of but odd. like you can say that like without comparing it to Saving Private Ryan because like I feel I, like that's what, <laughs> that's what every good <laughs> opening in your eyes at least has. You know, it sets up the rest of the movie. Nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. I gotta compare Van Helsing mm-hmm. as the like you said the Universal monster guy to mm-hmm. like the same way Constantine is to the demon world mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know he's our guy if there's yeah. a monster out there that you know yeah. call van helsing he's mm-hmm. he's gonna figure out how to get yeah. him. one of my favorite things in the whole movie is the whole thing that dracula had a past with him that he couldn't remember and right. it turns out he was gabriel you know yeah. an archangel right <laughs> yeah it's yeah. weird though. which is weird and that a solid weird. connection but you know, Dracula has the connection to the devil then. And basically, it seems like they're both fallen angels. Yeah. yeah. Good and evil, man. Yeah. One weird thing with the cinematography I noticed is there's so many, like, God's eye views mm-hmm. of people uh, just, like, falling. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It, it happens in the opening scene. It happens in, like, that weird elevator place that he crawls up as a werewolf. Yep. <laughs> that just happened a lot. Speaking yeah. of werewolf, introduction to the werewolf in this movie, that whole sequence is so insane and out of place, kind of. Like, it's just like... That was her brother, right? Yeah, like, yeah. When, when they're trying to kill yeah. it. Yeah. In the beginning. The, like, the original one, they're trying to capture it. Yeah. And then kill it. It creeps up on you, honestly. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. like, what is even happening here? <laughs> also, he, like, climbs the walls like he's Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, uh, before they, we even get to that. Yeah, that's when, that's the brother version of when it. They he's talking about the original. And then they're trying to kill And then, like, it. everyone's just fucking shooting at it. And it's yeah. like, you guys are hitting the road. Like, stop. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we still shooting? Because yeah, they were all freaked out. I don't know. It's yeah. not very well written. But again, I have to say that the transformation from human to werewolf and back again, mm-hmm. to me, it was fantastic. Yeah. You know, where the, the, the skin falls off and the fur comes out. I just thought it was... How uh, old is that movie? Two thousand six or four? Van Helsing is two thousand four. Wow, twenty years old. Yeah, so it's twenty wow. years old now. Okay. Another thing with the cinematography is like so much of this movie, just like the style, just feels like it's ripped straight out of Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. just like one of the like opening shots on like the mountain, I guess. Uh, it just felt like something okay. straight out of the Lord of the Rings. Just okay. weird. I never watched Lord yeah. of the Rings, so I wouldn't know. Jack <laughs> mentioned to me that you never watched Lord of the Rings. Nope, shame. It's a uh, the VFX company or the yeah. production company. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Weta Digital or Weta. The mm-hmm. same as Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Okay. And also far meter. So mm-hmm. yeah. you, know, you could reuse stuff that's effective. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. that works. Just weird. Yeah, just I mean, weird it's a good, for... uh, not a bad thing to try to template your movie off yeah. of. It, it is a really weird take on Dracula, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree, which I kind of think that the base thing you yeah. know, all those eggs and everything mm-hmm. was kind of a little like, far-fetched uh, but yeah i mean that, that i kind of that's interesting to me because that's almost like a classic like telltale signs of like the apocalypse like yeah yeah locusts mm-hmm. will take over but yeah. they're all like baby dracula i kind of did dracula's. like some of the just like technology in this movie even they had to use like frankenstein as like the channel for the lightning right because like mm-hmm. actually getting lightning to be like a power source is like impossible right. in real mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. so right. mm-hmm. yeah I was saying to Jack last night, or I texted him, I was like, I like um, Dracula's just like little minion dudes, like that, mm-hmm. like the Jawa guys yep, that are yeah. just like up in his castle. I don't even remember at all. I, <laughs> I thought it was a great take on Dracula. He was like, okay, I'm, I'm living, I, I'm a tortured soul, but I might as well make the best of it. So I'm going to find myself beautiful women. I'm going to, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm gonna, oh, yeah. you know, I have these parties at my castle in Budapest, which mm-hmm. was one of my favorite scenes of the movie, in all honesty. Just the whole thing of all these vampires just partying all the yeah. time. And, the rest of the world is just out there and they don't give a shit yeah. you know i just it's yeah. to me it was just a nice take on the whole thing you know there was elements of a lot of different stories in here and I, yeah. and it just brought it all together for me they, I, they like touch like on it. almost like the politics of like vampires at mm-hmm. one point that's right which like i almost wish they did more where he's like you know we only ever take our share that's, of what we need mm-hmm. and like never more never less yeah. but right. like, no one cares yeah. you know? right but then his whole thing he wants to take over the world with these babies mm-hmm. so what happens when there's nothing well, left to feed on was that because he was like fueled by revenge at that point i don't know if he was fooled by re- revenge maybe but I, I just think it was the want for power mm-hmm. over you know god he made the pact with the devil and he was thrown aside by god i'm taking over mm-hmm. you know yeah, I, maybe I, it is revenge i kind of think that that's a normal path to take when you mm-hmm. believe that you're better than yeah any you know everyone our, else our ways better you know? mm-hmm. Uh, vampires should be running this mm-hmm. world because look look what we can do as opposed to those, you know, puny yeah. 
you don't remember uh, I, I was like interested <laughs> even in just like the idea of like you know there's this whole town in transylvania where it's like even in the beginning where they're like mm-hmm. vampires like yeah. they see them and it's like oh fuck like run mm-hmm. yeah right just everything about it and like mm-hmm. even when van helsing kills the the bride they're like well you know you fucked us over yeah a yeah, hundred now... years nobody's done this and now they're yeah. gonna yeah. do yeah. it for, <laughs> now they're gonna do it out of no revenge. vampires have died in a hundred years in a vampire hunting town yeah it's a funny concept <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody's mentioned Kate. I was going to say it. It's kind of like a thing I didn't like about the movie. I mean, I, really? I, I do know, not care about the love. It was a yeah, terrible yeah. accent. No, the love scenes. She was just a tough ass in this movie, too, though. I didn't much care for her accent. No, her accent was, was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit off. But, and yeah, I could look I at much how care for her character. Half hours. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they had an okay chemistry together with it, and she was a badass, and it happened. You know, There's like mm-hmm. a almost a love triangle thing going on, where it's like Dracula wants her to be like his bride his new bride yeah Mm -hmm. and then like the two of them like van helsing and her like i guess fucking love each other maybe at this point i mean they've known each other a day and a half or something (laughs) maybe it's some strong lust yeah Yeah, but it's just like (laughs) i mean she was in that pretty tight outfit i'm just so like (laughs) uninvested Mm -hmm. in it in like every possible way yeah he he comes on the scene looking like indiana jones right Hundreds of years before Indiana yeah. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not very interesting to me. Uh-huh. And a good like central like theme of the movie, I guess, like runs around it too. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I mean, it's the stakes of the movie, like I said. Yeah. This Personally, I think one of the anchors, heaven. one of the anchors of this whole story was Carl the Friar. He was just had those little comic uh, relief moments, and <laughs> I think some of them hit. Some didn't, but, but, uh, but most of them But I think I don't want to go to Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it worked out pretty well. Actually, I'm just a friar. And and I thought he was pretty funny in it, and, and yeah. I enjoyed the character. It's funny. They made him look so short in this movie, but he's the same height as just about every other actor. I like some of the concepts and some of the ways that they did things, like when they went to Dracula's... Uh, Dracula. <laughs> Dracula. 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 When they went to, Dra- <laughs> they went to Dracula's <laughs> castle through the... Ice mirror. Just like the Dracula. <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a pretty cool concept the way they did that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think my favorite scene is when Igor is torturing the werewolf. Mm-hmm. Well, unless you don't show that big so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like This oh, is what I God. do. The giant chain yeah. and shit were funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is like part of the movie that is unironically fucking hilarious. I found it odd that the family that was trying to find and kill him and the werewolf and everything else actually lived in the original Dracula castle because mm-hmm. that was his castle that they were living in and then he took over Dr. Frankenstein's yeah. mm. castle and of course had his own through the other house. I guess I honestly do not have a favorite or least favorite scene. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he's favorite? Just, he's just a hater. He yeah. does. He doesn't like the movie. He did not like it <laughs> Favorite <laughs> scene for me um, it's probably the intro with like Frankenstein stuff. Even just like the mm-hmm. idea that Dracula like he used Doctor Frankenstein, yes, and he was just like, I thought you liked my creations. Yeah. I thought that was good. Um, least favorite scene, honestly, like the battle between like the big bat version of Dracula and the werewolf version of Van Helsing was just like so early two thousands. Man, it's yeah. cliche stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I have to agree with that as being a bad scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. but something had to happen there. No, I agree. You know? but, and it's like obviously like mm-hmm. that's what it's leading to. Like, yeah, I've been teasing his vampire yeah. form for the whole fucking movie. Yeah, but what I like about that scene is that he figured out, holy shit, they figured out how to kill me. Like, he, uh, up until that point, he thought he, he had this in the bag, and mm-hmm. he was like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm in trouble now. Yeah. I did kind of like yeah. the concept of, like, werewolf and vampire can't be one. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. I I just like the fact that Ian Hyde, yes. the opening scene, even the fight in the town, he was checking out his new gadgetry and yeah. stuff. The movie's always going to be entertaining for me. Same here. Agreed. Without picking it like apart, it, it's going to be entertaining. It, it suffers from like a lot of the same issues that Spider-Man 3 does, where it's like it's just so much to get to, mm. and it's a lot packed into one thing. Where I feel like stuff's just not getting like enough time to develop, right? Mm-hmm. And we're kind of rushing through a lot of things. Yeah, right. So I, I think that's like really what did it for me. It, it, you were kind of like over baking without having enough ingredients mm-hmm. a lot of the time. Again, I'm I'm going to agree with uh, Nick that it's always going to be an entertaining movie for me. I probably will get sucked into it every time it's on, <laughs> or at least scenes of it, mm-hmm. right? You know th- that I like. But uh, yeah, I mean there was some cheesy stuff in here. The the actresses for the brides would. They were just terrible actresses. Yeah. Yeah. And 
and I heard somebody uh, say that they just had no direction when they were in the background. They just did idiotic things and yeah. just, you know. But I, I, I thought that the concept of it was good. Then you find out, you know, when I found out years ago that it was supposed to be part of at least a trilogy and maybe break off into something else and be a whole story. I feel like that's almost like mm-hmm. a statement as to, like, where Universal Monsters are now, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. The, How many times well, have they tried to do a Universal well, Monsters right. thing? Just so you know, at the beginning of this year, they actually started speaking about about coming back with another Van Helsing. Well, and they're talking we with We have a Wolfman movie yes, coming out. Well, they're trying to get him in it as Van Helsing again. I know that even at one time they you were even speaking of uh Tom uh Well, Tom Cruise Tom had the Cruise. whole dark universe thing. He did He's and that mummy. Be- because yeah. of his disastrous mummy movie. Yeah. yeah. They, they burned held everything they burned back. everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean you know, like Johnny but, Depp was supposed yeah. to be in that. But he, even Van Helsing the whole town scene they kept that together for years because they honestly thought they were going to come back and do something mm-hmm. with it. And then they I love, it. like, a Van Helsing that's, like, a nice middle ground between, like, the black and white Doctor Van Helsing and mm-hmm. this. Yeah. Something in the middle of that, I feel like, with, like, you know, a modern update would be mm-hmm. decent. Yeah, least. I do think, like, Van Helsing would be probably the greatest possible entry into, like, a dark universe yeah. type thing. They still want to bring this universe. Because everybody has a universe. They want to bring it back. It feels like there's enough behind it where, like, you could do a marvel thing with yeah. it. But I don't know. Execution is obviously what matters most. Yeah. I don't think we're really moving towards the universe with it because, like, you know, that Wolfman movie is seemingly just, like, an independent horror movie from the Invisible Man guy who just seems to like that shit. I give this movie a 3 out of 10. Wow. <laughs> I'm honestly just not excited for like any monster I'm movies. I'm excited like for that. You know, I, I'd be excited for like a good Werewolf movie. Like well, if Robert Eggers a Wolf was Man new, movie coming it out. It does not look good looks from okay. what I've seen. It looks interesting. It, it doesn't look like good. He's a hater. You really don't. But like I feel like the Nosferatu movie looks good. If somebody like the director of The Northman, but if he did a werewolf movie instead, I'd be interested because like I know he would get into like the nitty gritty like lore of yeah. it. You know, yeah, they should let him do a MonsterVerse. Yeah, uh, honestly, like, I'm giving it like a six out of ten. It's a good yeah. movie. I'm a six out of ten as well. You know, there was some production things that stunk, but I like the whole concept of the the story itself, and I want to see more. I just like wonder like what you guys would think if this was like a modern like DC movie or something you know if this came out today i would be not happy with it at yeah all. yeah i mean clearly you know I, uh, there's like, like that's my CGI point i things that like i think have really held up in this movie and then there's some where it's like you know this is 2004 well i don't even mean like the cgi no, i know you know i know there, there, look i said like there's writing in this movie that i just like script writing clearly that just like doesn't make sense and doesn't work so what's the rating I'm going to give this movie a 4.5 out of 10. 4.5? What made mm. you think of that, like, 0.5? Because it's slightly worse than neutral. It's just, you know, mm-hmm. too overpacked and not enough ex- in my opinion. I understand. All right. I'm giving it, I, I like I said, I'll always find this movie entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to give it a 5, but I'm going to add two points for Kate Beckinsale. So it's a 7. <laughs> That's my final rating. You go, Kate. Right. All right. So in the Halloween spirit, I'm going to raise a question. Uh-oh. Mm. What is your question? Who would you fan cast into your, your own dark universe? Who would be your ideal actors for a Van Helsing, a Dracula? Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito. Oh, gosh <laughs> almighty. I want Hugh Jackman back as Van Helsing. But then he can be bring, he can be a mentor. For a Dracula, it's got to be someone that's like darkly charismatic. Oh, I know the perfect guy. Who? I don't know. What's his name from Lucifer? Mm. Oh, yeah. he would actually oh, be. A good he would actually be oh, great. Tom Ellis. Tom yeah, Ellis. Tom Ellis. Yeah, very He'd good. Yeah. good and he's quirky too. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. When you said charismatic, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm he... trying to think of somebody evil, but not yeah, really yeah. evil. Jack you made like fun him. of me for watching that entire series. <laughs> there was a oh, lot, was a, a lot of you know who had episodes. Sex? <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> there was a lot. That was like eight seasons or something. I'm, I, I'm crushing. It was like twelve on Maze. Yeah, yeah, But there was like twelve episodes per season. It was a Lot and Trisha Halfa, his mother. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think Robert Pattinson could pull off a Dracula. He'd be mm. like a, an interesting modern Dracula. I feel like they would never do Robert Pattinson because of Twilight. That's, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. completely forgot. Yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so like beyond. Huh, I, I wonder why I'm subconsciously <laughs> thinking. No, maybe that is it. <laughs> Robert I'm, I'm so beyond. <laughs> yeah. that is era. my skin so pale? <laughs> that era of him. He, he's so much more yeah. than those movies now. I'm just going to be, right. uh, I'm going to be a little bit girly here, but I love those movies. 
Twilight? <laughs> Twilight uh, movies. I love them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's. I got sucked. You ever into seen them for like a while. The interviews where like he's I just was shitting camp, on them? I was camp <laughs> werewolf for a while. I've never seen one. I just. I got sucked. I don't know how it happened. I was watching through <laughs> like HBO channels. I got sucked into. I'm like, wow, there's like three or four of these. Were you, wow. Were you like medicated at the time? Oh, I don't know what I was. I just got sucked into it. And then I became <laughs> wow. Those are pretty cool. And I'm not a big dog looking oh, like yeah, you yeah, know yeah, regular yeah. wolf wolf man yeah. guy. But I was like, holy shit, these things are gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> They're even bigger than the humans that played them. <laughs> and it's like a whole Indian pact. I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. The lore behind the Twilight Vampires is kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that, absolutely. <laughs> but I got sucked into it like a little girl. The I'm probably rest not allowed to say that anymore. Wow. <laughs> There's, I mean, they have... They have witches and they got people that can do magic or I don't know actually. They yeah, didn't... I remember the big fight scene. In what had uh, they, witches? They, didn't they have like people that were witches? Besides, it wasn't just yeah. vampires and and werewolves. There they... was definitely well, I I think that there were all kinds of vampires and stuff, but there was definitely some that had other powers. Yeah, that could do stuff like that. Yeah, you know, but or you had like you know, as far as the Native the Americans went, there were Twilight mystics. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's been a while since I watched. Hi, them. welcome yeah. back to Spockle Skin Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? New Moon. Oh my god! Do you remember like that kids like vampire show? It, it was honestly like teens. My babysitter's a vampire. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Do you, you I don't. know the name. I don't. I've never, I have yeah. no idea. Yeah. I've never heard yeah. of that. I had a huge crush on her. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to search kids a vampire show. Played some YouTube slop. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> all right, so that was our discussion on Van Helsing from 2004. Next week, we are doing Chronicle from 2012. Uh, I've never seen this one yet, so it's I've enjoyable. Seen it. It's I'm good. Curious it's to yeah. see what we all think of it. Bye. 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 Good. <laughs> Sick. Dude, I hate you. That's... I'm impressed, man. That's I am amazing. impressed. That was awesome, dude. Oh, oh come on, no. dude. That is not cool.